Hi there, I'm so happy you're here. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be talking about engineering economics. But before we jump into that, I would like to remind all of you with an engineering education from outside of the United States. If you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Click the link below and you can download it for free. A little note here, some states will allow you to sit for the exam before you can do your evaluation. And some states will ask for this evaluation to be done before you're approved to sit for the exam. It really depends on which state you are in. That being said, let's jump now into our example for today. Today, we're gonna to talk about break-even analysis. So break-even analysis is finding the cost of production or consumption where the benefit equal cost. For example, if an initial investment is made into a factory with the objective of producing an item for sale, then the break-even analysis involves the calculation of the number of units that must be produced for the revenue to equal initial investment. Let's work on an example. A company has a choice between two processes to manufacture a product. The data for both options A and B are given below. How many units must be produced annually to justify process A? Assume an interest rate of 7%. So from the get-go, we are asked how many units must be produced annually to justify process A. So let's assume that the number of units produced annually is X. So in order to be able to compare process A with process B, we have all of these costs and we have to convert them into the same unit, which is present word, annual or future. And I'm noticing here, since we have different lifetime, we cannot do present word. We're going to have to do equivalent uniform annual cost. So let's transform or convert everything into equivalent uniform annual cost. And remember, when you have to calculate a cost, the costs are positive and all of the income is negative. So let's start by initial cost, $50,000 of process A is a present amount. So we have to convert it to a annual. Let's go to here. So we are given a two annual given present. So we're gonna use this formula over here. And it's a cost, which means it's going to be positive. So we have $50,000 times, and I'm going to use the formula. So next, we have an annual cost of $2,500. And it's already an annual amount, so we don't have to convert it. So it's going to add $2,500. Annual production cost, and these are the costs per unit. I have to do here per unit. Okay, so we have, this is another annual amount, so we don't have to convert it. And it's a cost, so it's positive. So we have 20 times X, because these are the cost per unit and we have X units. And then we have a salvage value of $4,000, which is an income, which means we have to subtract it. So it's going to be minus 4,000 and it is a future amount. So we have to convert it to annual given future. So this is the formula we are going to use. So now we're going to have 5,000 or $50,000, 0 0.0712. Plus 0 0.07 power 10 years. One plus 0 0.07 all power 10 minus one plus 2500 plus 20x minus 4000 times 0 0.07 over one plus 0 0.07 power 10 minus one. And now calculating this, you'll get 
plus 2500 plus 20x minus, and then 4000 multiplied with that, you get 289.5, and all of this equals to 9329.4 plus 20x. So this is the equivalent uniform annual cost for process A. And now let's calculate the equivalent uniform annual cost for process B. So we have a present amount of 28,000. And we'll have to multiply that by the same formula here because we want to convert to annual given present. And then plus... Annual cost is 1300 plus $30 per unit, which is 30x. It's a cost, it's positive. And then we don't have a salvage value, so we don't have to move forward. Just gonna say equals to 28,000 multiply by 0 0.071 plus power 8 and then 1 plus 0 0.07 power 8 minus 1 plus 1300 plus 30x equals and here 28,000 multiply by that if you'll do the math, you'll get 4689.1 plus 1300 plus 30x. And all of it, it's going to be 5989.1 plus 30x. And this is the equivalent uniform. uniform annual cost for process B. Here is for process A. And now let's think about it a little bit. So we have uh, process A annual cost, process B annual cost. And the problem is asking us to calculate how many units must be produced annually to justify process A. That means that we have to just to justify process A, that means the equivalent annual cost of process A must be less than process B, correct? So we're gonna do this. Equivalent uniform annual cost of A must be less or equal to equivalent uniform annual cost of B. And this means that 9,329 Point four plus 20x must be less or equal to 5,989.1 plus 30x. And here we're just going to calculate this equation plus 20x. In order to calculate x, we're going to have to make this 89.1 plus 30 x and we'll have 9329.4 minus 5989.1 equals to 30x minus 20x this results to 3340.3 equals to 10x and from here x equals to three, three, four units per year must be produced in order to justify process A. Let's look at the options. 334 is option B. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps put this video in front of more people just like you. Keep on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.